Hey everyone, I'm Joe Talari with Metro Heating and Cooling. And I'm Justin Joe, I'm with Intertech USA. And today on the HVAC show, we're going to be going over geothermal. All right guys, so when it comes to the high voltage side of the variable speed flow center, if you do have a single single pump variable speed flow center, you will land uh, your high voltage can land just like we have on this unit right in with the contactor. Uh, you can see here we've got our high voltage coming in from our breaker panel and we've got the smaller uh, uh, green field here that runs over to power our variable speed pump. Now, if you have the two pump flow center, this is really important because the, the variable speed pump will still need to have the 240 volts uh, all the time. However, the single speed pump that is also on that flow center will hook to your standard pump location. And on this particular unit, it happens to be right here. This is the loop pump relay. And you can see here that there is a sticker talking about the loop pump, loop pump and desuperheater power connections. So, if you had a single speed or a three speed selectable uh, ground loop pump, this is, this is where you would hook those up. This is also where you would hook up your D superheater pump, which on the YT unit happens to be with the red tag. And it talks about do not hook this up until you have all your piping complete and it's full of water and that sort of thing. But it has the two female spade connectors and you would hook those right onto the the male spade connectors on that uh, pump relay. Uh, so again, just to recap, variable speed pump needs 240 volts AC 100% of the time. So it's hooked to the hot side of our contactor. The, the 2699, or if you were using some other style of pump, a single speed or three speed selectable non-variable speed pumps will hook to your pump relay. Uh, 